Well, now we're working on uh, the review for uh, section 3-5, and we've got to use uh, the differential to approximate the square root of 15. So we'll let, we're going to let, uh, let f of x equal the square root of x. And we'll declare x to be the closest perfect square to 15. So the closest perfect square to 15 is 16. So we're going to let x equals 16. And the difference between 15 and 16, dx, is going to equal 15 minus 16, which equals negative 1. So dx is negative 1. We have to subtract 1 to get from 15 to 16. Now we know that uh, dy over dx equals f prime of x. So the differential dy equals f prime of x dx. And also, using the point-slope form of a line, we know that uh, f of 15 minus f of x equals f prime of x times 15 minus x where x is 16, but we need a variable so we can deal with the derivative here. So then f of 15 equals, and this is actually going to be an approximation. Uh, so I'm going to put approximate, adding f of x to both sides, plus f prime of x. But notice, the difference in 15 and 16 is going to be dx. So we have the differential right here. In case you don't see it, that's f of x plus dy, f prime of x dx. Well, now let's go ahead and substitute our values. So we have f of 15 equals approximately, f prime, or f of x. Well, that's the square root of 16 plus dy. Well, dy is f prime of, uh, uh, f prime of 16. And first, before we deal with this, let's uh, see what f prime of x looks like, and isn't that going to be the derivative of the square root of x with respect to x, which equals the derivative of x to the one-half with respect to x, which equals 1 over one-half times x to the negative one-half. If I bring that downstairs, that'll be x to the one-half, which equals 1 over 2 root x. And I've asked you to memorize that. Please do so. It comes in awfully handy. So now we're going to have 1 over 2 root square root of 16, and dx is minus 1. So that equals 16, square root of that is 4. Uh, and now I'm going to change the sign to a negative because of that negative 1 right here. 1 over, and 2 times the square root of 16, which is 2 times 4, is 1 eighth, which equals 3 and 7 eighths, which equals 3.8 seven five. 
And so that's the square root of 15. And again, that's an approximation. The actual value, if you round, is uh, and run this through a calculator, you get the square root of 15 equals 3.873. Here's our approximation. Look how close it is. Isn't that great? Okay, now we're doing question two, and we have to find the derivative of the function 3 minus 2x, and we're going to refer to the power rule on page 180. So f prime of x equals, and the derivative of a constant is 0, and the derivative of negative 2x is negative 2. Uh, we bring the 1 down. There's an exponent on the 1 there. It's understood. And 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Reduce 1 by 1. And 1 minus 1 is 0. So x to the 0 power is 1. We get uh, so f prime of x equals negative 2. Let's do b. y equals 5x to the negative 2 plus 9x to the negative 1 minus root x. So now y prime equals, using the power rule, negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. Subtract 1 from negative 2, you get negative 3. Now, minus 1 times 9 is negative 9. Subtract 1 from negative 1, you get negative 2. And I asked you to memorize this identity. When you take the square root, uh, the derivative of the square root of x, you get 1 over 2 root x. And we're done with 2. So now we're doing question 3. So f prime of u equals, and when we multiply, we bring the 2 thirds down, multiply 2 thirds times 3. In fact, let's do this the long way. 3 times 2 thirds u to the 2 thirds minus 1 minus 5 times 1 third to the u to the 1 third minus 1. Well, here the 3's divide out and you get 2 u and if you subtract 1 from 2 thirds, you get a result of negative 1 third minus, and 5 times 1 third is 5 over 3, u, and if you subtract 1 from 1 third, you get negative 2 thirds. And now, now the question is for 4, what values of x is the for what value or values of x is the tangent line horizontal? Well, any time the uh, uh, derivative equals zero, then the tangent line's horizontal because the slope of the tangent line is zero, and therefore it's flat, so it's either at a peak or a valley. So now let's find the derivative. So f prime of x. And again, we're using the power rule on page 180. Equals bring the 2 down. 2 times 2 is 4. And we get x plus 8. The derivative of 8x is 8. And now we'll set that derivative equal to 0. That means we'll set 4x plus 8 equal to 0. Solving for x, we get 4x equals negative 8. So x equals negative 8 over 4. So that equals negative 2. So for what values of x, or what value of x is the hor uh, tangent line horizontal? It's horizontal at the, the, uh, for the value x equals negative 2.